Hello, I am Elena and my project is about how to make silicone elastomer coating, which is nowadays considered as the most promising falling release coating, more durable, by changing the silicone network structure. Let me show you now how the network structure can influence the mechanical properties of the coating. If there is a horse whose mission is to go through these hedges, will he choose the fastest way? That will mean to jump over high hedges or will he rather choose to go around the high hedges and jump over the low hedges? Of course, it depends, for example, on the current shape of the horse. But most likely, the second option will become true. We can expect the same behavior in case of the crack propagation in the coating. The crack propagation in the coating at the right side will be slowed down by high energy zones, which we can imagine as the high hedges. Now the question is, is it possible to completely inhibit the crack propagation? In other words, is it possible to stop the horse? Yes, we can force the horse to run in circles until he is too tired to run anymore. One solution to achieve this in coating science would be to prepare coating, which would contain high energy zones surrounded by low energy zones. The propagation of the crack will be then inhibited in the low energy zones, so-called liquid zones. Such coating will be then ready to protect our boats in harsh seawater environment.